I, I had option that is to choose to study in the United States, Canada, or in, 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 in London. So I turn it down because what I saw and what I really want is not in this country. Because I, I realized that you were even given a scholarship to study out of uh, Africa and you said no, you wanted to, uh, uh, to, to study or to study the Rwanda model. What does the Rwanda model uh, signify to you? Yeah, um, now looking at this, I, I had option that is to choose to study in the United States, Canada, or in, 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 in London. So I turned it down because what I saw and what I really want is not in those countries. What I want is in Rwanda. And that is a transformation that is going on. What Africa needs now is a transformation. Mm -hmm. My degree will not benefit me if I did it in Canada, no. What I want to see, because academics is not just in the classroom. Academics is about the society as well in, will, in which you evolve from, because that is what intellectuality entails. You must be able to critically understand the society in which you are, your environment, and how to critically understand the solution to those societal problems. Looking at what is going on in Rwanda, they had a genocide. They recovered from the genocide. I mean, mm -hmm. like, they were able to establish justice commission. They were able to establish the rule of law. They were able to establish a good administration and then design a model of development. That is a miracle because the Western world never predicted such. So what I'm trying to say here is that when we look into places like Rwanda, we understand a transformation that is ongoing. And that transformation is what I need in the Gambia. The same transformation is what people need in Senegal. The same transformation is what people need in Sierra Leone. The same transformation is what people need in, in Liberia. So that is exactly what we are trying to say, that Africa need an African model. And for us to have an African model, we must not just be borrowing from Eurocentric models or American models. No, we have to look into what is working on in African countries because the realities are similar. If you go to Rwanda today, you see the same people as if you walk in, into the Gambia. So that is exactly what I'm trying to say, that we need to understand the continent. We need to travel across the continent. Our, educational, our education system has to be in line to make sure that we have that quality education, that free flow of ideas from one country to another within the African continent to make sure that we can have that, glow, uh, that, that, that African agenda and then we push it to 2063 as they have it in, in, in the documents. But if we are not trying to do this, if we are not trying to see what works in different African countries and then to transform it in other parts of Africa, we will meet in 2063 again and explain to our own young generation why Agenda 2063 could not be achieved.